Hello there, welcome to the News in Nepal Television. I am Rosina Rai, starting with the headlines. Mothers are day being observed today, showing a reverence to mothers, a fanfare being held in Mata Tirsa, Kathmandu. Prime Minister Puspakamal Dahali is in a singuli to mark the break of Sri Sunkasi Marine Multipurpose Project. He emphasized on the quality of project. Pro-Palestinian protesters spread across campuses in Europe, call for ceasefire fire in Israel, Gaza, or resound with police using forces to dismantle students. And Borussia Dortmund bets a Paris Saint Germain twist to German aggregate to reach its first Champions League final since 2013. Mata Tirthaosi. The Mother's Day is being celebrated across the country with reverence and devotion and respect day. The Mother's Day is observed on the occasion of Baisaka Krishnaosi. There has been a tradition to take a bath in the morning, tenderly offer beautiful clothes and daily seize a food to mothers and take blessings from her. Those who do not have a mother remember her by performing performing a Shraddha ritual to pay homage to the departed souls today. In the scriptures, the mother's place is considered higher even than the god. A fair has been organized at Mata Tirtha Kunda Pond over Chandra Guru Municipality 16 memory of the late mother since this morning. Now to other update, uh, Prime Minister Puspakamal Dahal is in Sinduli to mark the breakthrough of the tunnel of Sunkusi Marine Multipurpose Project. The Prime Minister held an interaction with the local representatives and the locals yesterday on the Sunkusi River Municipality. The tunnel, 3.3 kilometer long tunnel spanning from Kusumta over Sinduli will see breakthrough today following completion of construction. The Sunkusi Marine multipurpose project located in Sindhili and uh, Ramachab in has aimed at uh, uh, redirecting the flow over Sungusi River to the Bagmati River to irrigate farmlands in the Tarai region. During a field visit this morning, Prime Minister Puspakamal Dahal has directed the authorities to complete the remaining works of the Sunsuri Radha uh, Marine Divers and Multipurpose Project in the designated time. After acquiring about the project in course of monitoring its site in um, area, PM Dahl directed to di diagnose a possible problem in the project and fix them in a timely manner. To other update, the World Red Cross Day is being observed by organizing several programs today with the slogan, Keeping Humanity Alive. The world celebrates World Red Cross Day on May 8th every year to honor humanitarian works and principles of the International Red Cross and Red Christian Moment. The day helps to highlight the humanitarian values and activities of the Red Cross and Red Christian Moment. These associations play a crucial role in assisting and aiding people impacted by different natural disasters aimed and uh, conflicts and uh, different crises everywhere around the world. In this context, uh, the theme of the year has been set to remind the people of the significance of uh, compassion, love, affection, support and uh, treatment on this uh, very day. As in inseparable parts of the Red Cross movement, Nepal Red Cross Society was founded in 19 Bhadra 2020 Bikram Sambad. Nepal Red Cross now has 1,615 sub branches including province offices in all seven provinces and district branch offices in all 77 districts and 6,934 junior youth circles around the country. The Nepal Red Cross has been annually offering its humanitarian services to over 2% five million people. Meanwhile, world peace prayers has been conducted within the Lumini Master Plan area. 
and uh, which is built in the garden complex and resided with the wishes for the welfare of the animal world according to the Mahayana Buddhist tradition. The text was recited in the garden prepared by the community including the Russian Buddhist Ogi boat now in Lumbini and the birthplace of Lord Gautam Buddha. We take a short break here, stay with us. Welcome back. You are watching Nepal Television News. Now we have remaining updates. Uh, we have now by 30 Jeep accident where seven persons injured and uh, in by 30 district and out of uh, seven, four persons are in serious uh, condition. The accident took place uh, last night at 2 p.m. in uh, Suryanaya municipality third in the district. The ill-fated Bali receiver fell some 65 meters down from earth side. The injured are identified as Deepak Parkri, Pradeep Parki, Dhanjit Parki, Rekha Parki, Krishna Parki, Dil Saini Parki. The uh, Jeep driver Surendra Pujara from uh, Purchodi third is absconding right now and the police is uh, trying to find out uh, his whereabouts. At least 27 people have lost their lives to fire forest and lighting in the last 24 days, according to the data. And also the data shows that Natural Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Authority in the RRMA, the fatalities occurred between April 13 and May 6. Some 18 people were killed in the fire, six in the forest fire and three is in lighting strike while 90 were injured in the incident, the NDRRMA sources said. Meanwhile, the authority has also approved a procedure to provide financial assistance to the fire victims of families to build a temporary houses there. Earlier, such facilities were made available to the Gorkha earthquake victims. The federal capital Kathmandu says improving air quality index gradually after light rain on Monday. The air quality index is a major in major cities across the country, including Kathmandu, is reported improving gradually. The air quality index data in Kathmandu today drops to number six, and the overall air quality index AQI is in 145. AQI in Kathmandu is in between of 101 to 150. And it is considered unhealthy for those having sensitive health condition. A particular group yesterday AQI reached 127 due to decrease in air pollution. The delay in rainfall, dry weather, and a small drain smoke from forest fires. The quality of air in Kathmandu was worst ever. According to the environmental experts, the uh, more improvement is likely to fill in if it rain sufficient in the days to come in the federal capital and across the country. The worst AQI is reported to be in Lahore city of Pakistan. With this, so we take a short break here. Stay with us. Now we have international headliners uh, demonstrations against the Israeli government are not only taking place at universities in the USA. Activities in the colleges across the Europe are also standing up uh, civilian population in Gaza. Student uh, protests are demanding that uh, universities uh, severe ties with Israel over the Gaza war have spread across Europe, sparking classes and arrest as uh, new demonstrations broke out in the Netherlands. Germany, France, Switzerland and Austria. Students at various European universities inspired by ongoing demonstrations at the US campuses have been occupying halls and facilities, demanding an end to partnership with Israeli institutions because of Israel's assault on Gaza. Those people said 169 people had been arrested on Monday evening when they broke out in encampment at the University of Amsterdam. Police were filmed batting charging protesters and smashing up their tents after they refused to leave the campus. 
Meanwhile, the United Nations and aid agencies have slammed the Israeli army for cutting over in essentials aid route by seizing the Palestinian side of the Rafah border crossing between Egypt and southern Gaza, warning that already scarce supplies will be further depleted in the enclave that is on the brink of a mine. The UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres warned of potential collapse in the aid flow to Palestinian from the close of Rafa and the urban main crossings into the Gaza. Krimi Abu Salim, Israel sent ground forces into Rafa and took control over Palestinian side of the crossings. However, after Hamas said it had accepted a ceasefire proposal put forward by Qatari and Egyptian mediators. Israel said the proposal fell short of its requirements and that it would send a delegation to meet the mediators. TikTok and its uh, Chinese uh, parent company ByteDance uh, filed a suit in a U.S. federal court on Tuesday seeking to block a law signed by President Joe Biden that would force the devastator of the short video app used by 170 million Americans or ban its use. The companies have filed their case in a U.S. court of appeals of the District of Columbia Circuit, arguing that the law violates the U.S. Constitution on a number of grounds, including running a form of First Amendment free speech protections. The law signed by Biden last month gives a by chance until January 19, 2025 to sell TikTok or face a ban. The White House has said it wants to see Chinese-based ownership ended on nationally security grounds but not ban on TikTok. The White House and Justice Department declined to comment on the lawsuit. To the more updates before that, let's have a quick look into the highlights of the site. Fueled by climate change, the world's ocean have broken temperatures a record every single day over the past year. A BBC analyst find out that nearly 50 days have smashed existing highs from the time of years by the largest margin in the satellite era. Planet warning gases are mostly to blame, but the natural weather event El Nino has also helped warn the seas. The superheated oceans have hit marine life hard and driven a new wave of coral bleaching. Recent months have brought no respite. With the sea surface reaching a new global average daily high of 21.09 Celsius in February and March this year, according to Copper Coast data. We're now moving on to spots. Borussia Dortmund produced a fine away performance to beat Paris Saint Germain to reach their first Champions League final since 2013. Dortmund held a 1-0 advantage following the first leg of the semi-final and doubled their lead. And when Mats Hummels was left unmarked five yards out to Hayden from Julian Brandt's left wing corner. PSG have never been European champion, losing in the 2020 final. And Dortmund produced the excellent defensive play to frost the French title winners. Kylian Mbappe in his last European match for PSG before joining Real Madrid in the summer had an effort deflected on to the crossbar before Vietnia fired against the ball to the sixth time overall his side had hit the frame of the goal in the time. The final will be at Wembley on 1st of June month. With this, we come to the end of this news bulletin. But before we say goodbye, quick reminders of the headlines once again. Mother's Day being observed today, so in reverence to mothers, a fanfare being held in Mata Theatre of Kathmandu. Prime Minister Puspa Kamal Dali is in Sindhuli to mark 
the breakthrough Simcoe Marian multi-purpose project, he emphasized on the quality of parts. The Palestinian party is just spread across campuses in Rev call for ceasefire in Israel Gaza were resounded with police using forces to dismantle students. And Brasia Dortmund beats a Paris Saint Germain 2 is to 0 on aggregate to reach its final Champions League since 2014. Well, this is all we have for this moment. Until our next double 18, keep watching Nepal television. Have a good day ahead. Namaste.